What it is, guys, it's your Dino. We're back at again with another review. So let's just get straight into it. This one is for Dark Tide. Dark Tide is an amazing game, and we'll get straight into the accessibility and we'll tell you why. So, as you guys know, I have made it aware that I got put into the Fat Shark Creator program. So I get to create content for this game. They give me stuff but I am in no way forced to give it a positive review or anything like that. I'm allowed to tell you how I feel and what I think of the game. So that being said, we'll get straight into it and we'll talk about that stuff as we go through. The accessibility is absolutely on point. They are not at the level of how we have God of War Ragnarok, but that being said, no game is perfect. I do think that they've done a very good job of supporting the game in accessibility across the board. It, this is the PC game, so you can use any form of controller. So you've got all that level of accessibility available to you in that side. They've done a really good job and I can't fault them for it. They've got all the other things that you need, subtitles and so on and so forth. The only thing I am saying that they will be missing will be in the final thought. Customization though, they've done a really good job with that. You have all different characters. You have the Ogryn, you have the Sharpshooter, you have the Zealot, and you have the Psyker. Best way to describe those four characters are the Ogryn being the tank, you have the Psyker being your mage, you have the Sharpshooter being your archer or your, your hunter, and you have the Zealot being your warrior class. And that's tank mage your dps and your crowd control those are your four different classes unless they add more like they have done with vermintide 2 which is a previous game that they've worked on they'll probably add those at a later date they'll probably bring in some more ones i honestly think that they should bring in a tech priest and i think that they should also bring in a class that can use terminator armor terminator armor would be amazing that's just my opinion though but i think they'd have to tie that into a dlc that being said the customization for all the different characters can be done male or female you can make the characters just amazing i don't think the only one i don't think you can do um male or female is the ogren because it's just a hulking beast of a person they're genetically augmented overworld design we'll get straight into that one because i think that this one is a big Thing to talk about so if you have not played a fat shark game before they made vermintide 1 and vermintide 2 so those are warhammer games fantasy you have this one which is the 40k universe which is your modern one so you have fantasy and you have sci-fi fantasy stuff is easy you got mages and so on and so forth but the key thing is that the overworld that they had created, the hub world, everything that they learn from those two games, they have implemented into this game. So they haven't made the mistake like previous developers have, where they've released another game that they've worked on and just had selective amnesia and forgotten all the stuff that they improved upon in their previous games and just left it out on the floor on this one. They have not done that and for that reason i am so happy for this game they've done a really good job i have played over 40 hours in this game on my testing account but on my main account for recording purposes there's only about three or four hours in there because i didn't want you guys to have to sit there and see late game stuff and experience like a, an op character and op designs and all the different weapons i wanted you guys to see how it is when you start so that being said the overworld is amazing the individual mission worlds that they've created are very very good they're in keeping with the lore of the universe which is amazing as well but i would also like to take a quick moment and say Thank you for getting this far in the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and all links to everything I talk about will be down in the description or in the comments. And if you have something to say in the chat and in the comments and you don't want to word it with, with words, you can use emojis. I don't mind. I think that's another way of communicating and that's awesome. So that being said, the overworld and its lore, in my opinion, is this is the, the key thing for this universe and this game. If you 
make a game within a within an ex- existing franchise like Warhammer or stuff like that, you have to keep to the law. You have to. It's important, and they have done that every single time with these games: Vermintide one and two, and now this one. Dark Tide keeps to the law, and they have done it so well. I'm so happy to play this game and it gives me that happiness for being a Warhammer fan. Anyway, final thoughts time guys. Buckle in because this one's going to get interesting. Now, as I said before, accessibility. No game is perfect, but when you have games like God of War Ragnarok winning the game awards for accessibility, that has to become the benchmark by which we hold all other games. That being said, this game does have some issues when it comes to certain accessibility features that I feel should always be included. Dyslexia subtitles, reading that stuff on the screen is going to be difficult for some people. So when the text comes up, if they have dyslexia, they're going to struggle. Games need to have colorblind modes. Iotronopia, Triptonopia, and the other one that I can never pronounce. So if you can't support those, you're affecting gamers. You need to have abilities for physically and less able-bodied gamers to get involved. You need to have one-touch button presses. So if they need to press and hold a button down or give them the ability to, to do certain things like that in an easier way, Add in speech to text, text to speech. These are things that are, in my opinion, industry standards that need to be met when it comes to a game. That being said, they have tried to hit as many bases as possible with this game, trying to make sure that the PC version supports as many controls as possible. Now, I have quite a few accessibility controllers, and every single one that I used was plug and play and it worked great no faults there it's just little things that most able-bodied developers tend to forget about because they don't always have to be aware of these sorts of things but as a content creator who does have to be aware of these things i always highlight them and i always try and point those out that being said like the game can't wait for the PC version to be able to be played alongside the console version when that drops. Crossplay is key nowadays, and I think that they've done an amazing job with the game. The lore, the universe that they've set in it, and the story that they tell is truly amazing. If you haven't played this game, this game is definitely one for anyone who is a fan of Left 4 Dead, Dead by Daylight, Back for Blood, or the Warhammer universe. They are amazing games to be played both single player and co-op because the AI isn't dumb. But if you disagree with me, guys, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys.